Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Orlando Raw, and today I'm going to teach you how to cook pasta. But I'm not going to show you how to boil water and just throw pasta in. I'm going to give you some rules, some ways to make pasta. And I'm going to make two types of pasta which are very fast to make. So if you're home and alone, or you want to make it with your friends straight away, you're in a rush. These two types of pasta dishes, which are common in Italy, is a fast way. So, the first one is aglio olio peperoncino, which is oil, garlic, and chili pepper. And the second one is burro parmigiano, which is uh, butter and parmesan cheese. So let's see our ingredients. Okay, so I need my pasta and I need my pepperoncino, which is uh, chili peppers. I am not using all of this, just the two pieces of garlic, aglio, and oil, which is oil. Okay, so uh, aglio, oil, and pepperoncino. Aglio, oil, pepperoncino. There you go. Okay, first things first, pasta. You don't want it to be soggy, you want it to be al dente. What is al dente? Al dente is when you cook the pasta and it's not mushy, okay? It is to the tooth, al dente, to the tooth. It means it has that right crunch, it's fully cooked. It's not raw inside and it's not soggy. It is the right way to make pasta. So to make pasta, when you see the time on the packet, if it says 11 minutes on the packet, usually cook it two minutes under, okay? And then I'm gonna put the pasta in the pan. So if I wanna cook it two minutes in the pan with the ingredients, I'll take off two minutes from the cooking time and the other two minutes it gets cooked in the pan. And remember, even when you serve pasta in a plate, always cooking. So you have to eat pasta as soon as you cook it, you don't let it mush up. Italians don't like mushy pasta, neither do I, and neither do you. Okay, so in your hot boiling water to make the pasta, add your salt. Okay, you can put big salt or small salt, doesn't matter. As long as you put salt, because the salt has to be absorbed by the pasta, make it taste good. Otherwise it's going to taste like nothing. Okay, so I'm using spaghetti today, and I'm going to throw in my spaghetti. Okay, don't force the pasta in. Let it go down slowly with the heat and just gently put your pasta in. Now don't touch it for a bit. And as soon as that cooks up a bit, we're gonna start moving the pasta around. Let's prepare the chili peppers. Just grab those and cut those finely, really thin. And get rid of the end parts, the stems. Okay, so cut all those up. Very finely cut because this pepperoncino we want it all over the plate, so I'll just recut that. Okay, excellent. Okay, so the seeds is what makes this very hot, so don't put your fingers in your eyes after that. So I cleaned up my garlic and I just cut my garlic in half and then I removed the central part. There you go. The central part, you see it here, let me see. Okay, that central part is the part that comes up. So you don't wanna eat that. So get rid of that central part and you can eat garlic again because that is the part which uh, you don't digest. Okay, so I'm going to cut my garlic in very thin slices, okay, very thin, so it's very small, and that garlic taste is going to be in the oil. So this is a fast cooking process, so the oil has to get heated up, as soon as it gets heated up I'm going to put the garlic and the chili pepper, and I don't want it to burn. So the pasta is cooking. So just before I'm gonna take out the pasta, so if the pasta is 11 minutes, you're gonna take it out at nine minutes. 
you're going to start cooking this one minute or one and a half minutes before you decide to pull out the pasta. So let's go do this. And another important tip, guys, if you use chili pepper or you use garlic, you don't use cheese. No way. You don't use cheese. When you use garlic, you don't use cheese. When you use chili pepper, you don't use cheese. Okay, that's very important. Okay, gently stir your pasta once it's cooked up, so it's softened up, and move it around so it cooks evenly. Okay, in a non-stick pan, add your olive oil. Because this is a chili-based, garlic-based pasta, I'm gonna put a bit of extra olive oil. As your oil starts heating up, Put in your garlic. The garlic is starting to bubble up on the sides instead of oil, but it, before it overcooks, straight away put in your nice chili peppers. Scatter those around. Okay. With all the seeds. Important to not make this burn. So it's heating up. You see the garlic is not burnt. The chili pepper is starting to heat up and the pasta is nearly done. So as soon as the pasta is ready, which is two minutes before the cooking time on the packet, I'm gonna cook the rest of the pasta here for two minutes. Drain out the pasta so there's no water on it. And let's add the pasta to the oil with the chili pepper and the garlic. And start mixing this up. And because I took the pasta out two minutes before, I'm going to mix this up for nearly two minutes, just under two minutes. Okay, look at that. It's looking so good. It's a very simple dish and it is a fast dish. Okay, look at that. It's beautiful. So while I'm doing videos and the pasta is drying up, so let's hurry up and eat it. The smell of the garlic and the chili pepper that's there, it is beautiful. And I don't want it too oily, the pasta. Just the right touch. Okay, so see how the pasta is shiny of the oil, but I don't want it swimming in oil. It's just enough. That taste of, smells like garlic, smells like chili pepper, that's beautiful, look at that. Look, that's some chili pepper there. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. So, let's explain. This is not soggy. This is al dente. Don't know if you see that. It is correctly cooked. It's fully cooked. And it's not soft and it's not hard. It's correct. This tastes beautiful. It has chili pepper. I don't put a lot of chili pepper, but I don't taste it much because it's a fast cook, okay? It doesn't ruin your palate. You ain't gonna like burn your mouth with those Californian Reapers. I'll probably only put half of that inside the plate, but this is delicate, it's correct. It is the right way. You know, you have to make food that tastes good, not tastes like garlic. And then you walk around and then no one's gonna kiss you because you smell like garlic or it's too much chili pepper. This is perfect. Mm. Well, now that, that is a very nice plate. Correct amount of garlic, correct amount of chili pepper, and I'm having pasta which you slightly taste it. You don't really taste that heavy garlic, heavy chili pepper. It's slightly there, it reminds you it's there. That's how it should be. A fast dish to prepare when you're in a rush only takes a few minutes. And look at that pasta. Mm. Wow. Beautiful. So, that's it. That's it. It's easy to make. Very delicious. And the second one is burro parmigiano, which is uh, butter and parmesan cheese. So let's see our ingredients. Okay, so I'm gonna use a short pasta, which these are called penne, and they've got lines, so they're rigade. That means 
they've got lines on them. I've got this penne liche, which are smooth. And I've got my grana padano cheese. Look at that, beautiful. And my butter. So these are the ingredients. And remember, rule number one, when you use butter, don't use oil. Okay, and butter and cheese are an excellent combination. Hot boiling water and your pasta. And this is a short pasta. And let that cook up for two minutes under the time it says on the packet. If I'm using butter, I don't use oil. This is a fat. Oil is a fat. You ain't gonna mix fat with fat. I've used one type or the other. So I'm gonna use butter and I'm gonna grate my Parmigiano cheese. Okay, so I grated all this cheese up. That's pretty nice. Remember to stir your pasta every now and then because it'll stick our voice. Okay, cut up a few slices of butter. Okay, add your butter to the pan. Added the butter to a hot pan, but I had the pan switched off. I'm just making the butter melt, see? And now that the pasta is just about ready, I turn back the heat, just gentle heat. I drained out the pasta, and now that all the water's removed, I'm gonna add it to the hot pan with the butter. As soon as I add the pasta to the butter, I'll start mixing that and straight away add your parmesan cheese on top. A nice layer of parmesan cheese and let that melt up. Okay, with the heat of the pasta and we got our stove on real low and just mix that up. Look at that, it's looking good. As soon as it starts melting a bit, grab some more cheese and add some more cheese on the top and mix that up. Okay, don't make it dry up. So that's it, that's finished. Okay, so I removed the pasta from the pan. It has to be fast, this is a fast dish. And add some grated cheese on the top. Wow, that looks beautiful, look at that. Wow. Look at that, the cheese melting. This is a fast dish, so you have to eat it hot. Okay, taste testing time, magic fork. So just mix that up straight away. Wow, it looks so good. You don't use oil when, when you use butter. Look at that, beautiful. So let's taste this. So some people criticize these fast pasta dishes, but I love them. Mmm, perfect. Wow. I love it. Look at that. Wow, perfect. Mm. Top. Al dente. So the pasta, you have to cook it so it's not soggy and it's not still undercooked. Okay, it has to be cooked exact. So a few minutes less than what the packet says. Then those minutes that you saved, you put it in the butter, heat it up, the cheese, a real fast spin. Al dente. Perfect. Wow. Let me see. Okay, bite the pasta, you can't really tell, but it's perfect. Wow. This is so good, and it has to be even hot. You can't let it sit there, otherwise you're gonna eat garbage. So, has, this is a fast plate. Cook it, eat it, cook it, eat it. Passes that, passes one minute from the stove to the plate. It's still cooking here, but as soon as you get to the plate, you have to mix it up and start eating it. Wow, beautiful. So simple, so top. Okay, remember guys, one thing, very important thing. When you're cooking, cook it the right way. Look at the timing and use not too many elaborated things. The best cooking, is using the fresh products, the genuine products, and in season. So your fruit and veggies, is 12 months a year, don't buy stuff that is not in season. Buy your stuff, your produce in season, and make uh, all the recipes which are available for those products. And that way you live healthier. And cooking with 
not 2,000 ingredients is better. You want to taste it. That's why I love Italian cooking, because there's a few ingredients. And you make it the right way, and it's wow. Every time, wow. Everyone loves Italian food. You know that. Unreal. So, thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe, Orlando Raw.